I was going on a routine convoy through central Baghdad. All of a sudden, boom, this explosion goes off. And I looked down and I saw, I really, I saw a bunch of blood. And I woke up in an American hospital and the gentleman next to me, he said, it's gone. Your leg is gone. And that was the last day I stood on my own two legs, I mean, April 13th, 2004. called my mom and my mom was like, oh, it's so great to hear from you. It had been a few days and I had to kind of stop her and say, mom, you know, something happened. You see somebody running down the street outside your hospital window and you think, am I ever gonna be able to do that again? Two months after, I'm down in the physical therapy gym. I look over and across the gym, there is a guy that's missing both of his legs and an arm, and he's up and walking. And I remember I looked at myself and I thought, I am so lucky, and I have nothing to complain about. I really, really put things into perspective. In my therapy, I had started to swim, and I had this goal of making the Paralympic team. This dream kind of kept me going. When trials came around, I went in a total long shot to make the team. In the 400 freestyle, I broke American records I didn't even know existed. I had the meat of my life. Everything from Baghdad and now I was going to go to Beijing, it kind of all came together and kind of made sense and just uh, that dreams can come true, I guess. You know, I learned a really important lesson and that's that it's not always about the medals. We all want the medals, but it's about the journey to get someplace and the obstacles to overcome. That journey meant more than any medal that I could have gotten. I don't want to give up. I have these dreams that I want to accomplish and these things I want to do and I'm going to make it happen.